Hello everyone, today I will be searching for the best croissant in San Francisco. I will be heading to Tartine, Thoroughbred and Pastry, Jane the Bakery, B Patisserie, 165 Patisserie and Boutique, and Arsicult. Out of these bakeries I visited Tartine, B Patisserie and Arsicult, but personally my favorite croissant is at Arsicult because in my opinion it just has the best flavor and the best texture. However, my favorite croissant might change today since I'm trying a few new places that I've never tried before and the Yelp reviews look very positive. I must say that even after visiting Paris in 2019, I'm still really impressed with the quality of the croissants in San Francisco because I think the quality is really unbeatable. It's probably about the best croissants you'll ever get outside of Paris. I'm going to be rating the croissants both on the texture and the taste and they're going to be rated from 1 to 10. Let's head to San Francisco now, and my first stop is going to be Tartine. I just stopped by Tartine and I picked up my croissant right here and it was quite expensive. It was $5. The croissant already smells nice and buttery and it feels really flaky so I'm really looking forward to this. Wow this is a really good croissant. I love the outside. It's so flaky and buttery and I really like the flavor because it almost tastes like brown butter so it's nice and nutty. The inside is nice and soft and buttery as well however it's a little bit dense but I just think that's because it's not hot out of the oven. It's time to rate our croissant and for the first category which is the taste I'll give this a 9 out of 10. The taste is almost perfect. This is really pretty much as good as most croissants that you get in Paris. The flavor is so rich and you really get the buttery flavor and it's also not overly greasy. It's the perfect balance of butter and flaky pastry. And for the texture, I'll give this an 8 out of 10. It's a nice and fluffy croissant. However, the inside is a little bit firm, but the outside is so flaky. It's really hard to get a flaky outside on a croissant and this pretty much has the perfect outer layer. Now we're going to be heading to our next stop, which is Thoroughbred and Pastry. I just stopped by Thoroughbred and Pastry and I got one of their traditional croissants and this costs $3.25 and I noticed it is a little bit smaller if you can tell. It also doesn't look quite as flaky but still smells nice and buttery. Let's go ahead and give this a taste. I'm curious to see how this compares to Tartine. This croissant is delicious as well, however I can already say that it's not quite as good as Tartine. The outside is nice and flaky, however it's a little bit softer and not quite as crisp as Tartine. And the flavor is pretty similar, although you don't get that same rich, buttery, nutty flavor. It's still buttery, it's just not as flavorful. And the inside is quite similar, nice and soft and flaky. In terms of the taste of this croissant, I would give it around an 8 out of 10. It wasn't quite as good as Tartine, but it was pretty close in terms of the taste. And in terms of the texture, I would give it around a 7 out of 10. In my opinion, the outside wasn't quite as crisp and flaky, however the inside was still nice and soft. So you gotta give them that. Now on to my next stop, which is gonna be Jane the Bakery.
I just stopped by Jane the Bakery and I got their traditional croissant and this was a little bit more on the pricey side. It was the same cost as tartine which was $5 but this already feels really flaky. Definitely more flaky than thoroughbred. The texture already is reminding me of tartine. Let's go ahead and give this a taste. This has the perfect golden brown color. This croissant is really delicious. The flavor is nice and buttery, and it's nice and flaky and crisp on the outside without being overly greasy, and it definitely reminds me a lot of tartine. In terms of the taste, I would rate this an 8.5 out of 10. It has a very delicious, rich flavor. However, it's not quite as nutty or rich as tartine, but still really good. And for the texture, this would also get a 9 out of 10. This pretty much has the same texture as tartine. Nice and crispy and fall apart, flaky on the outside and soft and fluffy on the inside. This is a really good croissant. My only thing I would say is I feel like this croissant is a little bit smaller than tartine. Considering they were both $5, I think tartine has the better price. But either way, this is still really good. Now I'm going to be heading to our fourth stop, which is Bee Patisserie. I just stopped by Bee Patisserie and I can't wait to try their croissant. It was $3.25 so it's definitely more affordable and it seems nice and flaky. Alright, let's go ahead and try a croissant now. You know, in my opinion this croissant is alright. It isn't as good as the other ones I've had so far. In terms of the taste, it's pretty mild and it doesn't taste that buttery but I can still tell that they use real butter. And the texture is a little bit softer, so I think this is just a personal preference thing, but I would prefer it to be a little bit more crispy and flaky on the outside, and yeah, that's just what I think. In terms of the taste rating, I'd probably give it around a 6.5 out of 10, maybe a 7 if I'm a little bit more generous, because personally, I'm not sure why, it just doesn't seem like it has as much flavor as the other croissants. I'm not saying that it's bad, just compared to all the other croissants in this video, it would probably get around a 6.5 out of 10. And the texture was decent, it was more of a softer, not quite as of a crispy croissant, so I'd probably give the texture around a 7.5 out of 10. Now I'm going to be stopping by our last two stops, which are Arsicult and 165 Patisserie and Boutique. <laughs> I just finished stopping by our last two stops, which were Arsicult and 165. And I'm going to start with the croissant from 165, and I'm already really excited about this. If you look at it, there's so many different individual layers right here. This croissant is pretty good. I definitely get a buttery flavor and I really like all the layers. It's nice and crispy on the outside and as you bite into this croissant, you really taste all the different layers. However, my only complaint is the butter flavor isn't super strong. I'm wondering if they use like a mixture of butter and oil or something, but it still tastes a little bit buttery and it's also a little bit more dense than our croissants, but it's still pretty good. This croissant did cost $4.75, so in terms of the taste, I think it's a little bit pricey for what you get, but still, it's San Francisco, so I really don't think it's that unexpected. In terms of the taste, I'd give it a good solid 7. It was nice and flavorful, however, I think it could have been a little bit more buttery. 
And for the texture, I would give it around a 7.5 out of 10. Reason being is because the croissant itself was a little bit dry and a little bit dense. However, there are so many layers. And the reason I think it might be, have been a little bit more dry is because I got it later in the day. The last croissant I'm going to try is from Arsicle, and already out of all the other croissants, this smells the most buttery and rich, and also smells nice and toasty, and almost slightly burnt, but I have a feeling this is going to be amazing. I can already tell you out of all the croissants I tried today, this for sure is my favorite. The flavor is incredible. It's so warm and buttery and soft and flaky and crispy. This is just croissant heaven. For the taste, I rated a 9.5 out of 10, which is about the same as tartine. In terms of the taste, it's quite similar. However, I do notice that the croissant tastes a little bit more toasted and slightly burnt, which I love, which really brings out the butter flavor in a croissant. And for the texture, I would also give it a 9.5 out of 10. The reason I preferred this over tartine, which I thought had the second best texture, is the inside of this croissant is a little bit more fluffy and light, so it's not quite as rich. I had a lot of fun on this adventure, exploring San Francisco in search of the best croissant, and my conclusion was that Arsicol truly has the best croissants, but Tartine is really not far behind. And right here are my final ratings for the croissants. Anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this fun journey through San Francisco, and make sure if you enjoyed the video to give it a like, and also make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any more exciting videos. And yeah, I'll see you guys at the next one. Thank you.